Well, let's go NEO. It is the weekend and Cleveland is getting an early start on their Oktoberfest celebrations. The annual event is back at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds with some exciting things in store. Our Remy Murray is enjoying everything out there. Now, last time we talked to you, you said you got to close the, uh, the, the door to keep the beer cold. And Damon, as soon as we wrapped up our last interview, we closed that door so the beer stayed cold. So when you come to Oktoberfest, I mean, it is getting warm outside. So when everyone comes at noon, when the gates open, that beer is nice and cold. But a big part of Oktoberfest is not only the beer, it's about the food, too. And I'm here with John Roberto, who can talk to us a little bit about his, I guess, palette of food that he offers. John, but before we get to that, how long have you been here at Oktoberfest? I've been here since it opened, I think, 17, 18 years now. Wow. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what are we looking at here? I mean, the bees are being irritating, but we have a delicious palette of food right here. Yeah, sure. I'd love to tell you about it. This one right here by my hand is a chicken paprikash. It's over some spetzel and has a real creamy chicken stock to it. Okay. Okay. Our um, combination platter, schnitzel, and there's bratwurst and German potato salad. You can get the bratwurst just as a sandwich or potato cakes on the side. Is that pizza? That is a pizza. It's okay. an original Flammkuchen. It's a, it's a German pizza. And we offer that with cheese and pepperoni pizzas as well. We have a schnitzel and paprikash combo, one of my favorites. I okay. love it. Um, or the sampler platter. You get to taste a little bit of everything. So this is kind of interesting i mean this is a lot of food and people eat this food and then they go drink and have a good time yeah they need something to absorb the alcohol so i didn't know that schnitzels look like chicken tenders do you get that often or is that just me embarrassing myself uh, on tv no we we've heard that before because once something's bread and it's fried crispy i mean it tastes similar yeah uh, so john i mean you've been here 17 18 years long long time yeah. what do you most look forward to about this event you know what it, it's hard work it's a lot of fun we're closely behind this kitchen with with friends and we're working we want people to be happy so when they're smiling they come up and then they eat the food and come back and say that was great i loved it i mean that really means a lot to us and that's why we're here make the people happy I mean, of course. Well, John, thank you so much for joining us. He has to get back in the kitchen, but it's all about making you happy. And I mean, what better way to do that with the sun, beer, and delicious food? It looks like a win-win for me. So I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio, Damon. You know, Remy, that's that stick-to-your-bones food, the good stuff. That good stuff, right. <laughs> all right.